I will begin by making my initial incisions. The patient has already been anesthetized. Here we'll be placing our graft into position just to check for its fit and size. The graft is going to be inserted within this feet of pouch. It'll be sutured into place. It's a nice passive fit. It'll be sutured into place and then the feet of pouch will be sutured above the graft to provide adequate blood support. Blood supply rather. Retraction, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right now, because we're doing a two-stage closure, we're using a dissolvable gut suture. And once again, we sling it around the tooth. firmly secured and firmly adapted to the root surface. And we line up the graph at the junction of the root and the enamel. And the reason we don't suture the overlying pita pouch to the graft is because the pita pouch is attached to part of the lip and cheek so as the person speaks, smiles, and laughs it will inadvertently move. We don't want this graft moving as it's healing.
in a silk suit you just do a sling shoot no. Also grabbing a flat human. The graph to close that up as well. displaced our overlying pita pouch flap somewhat higher, which will cause some folds and tissues, as you see here. We will trim this away. As you can see, we are able to take our severely rece receded area, take a graft, suture it to the underlying tissue, and firmly secure it around the root surface. We took the overlying pita pouch flap <coughs> and displaced it to cover a significant portion of the underlying graft to provide adequate blood support. And what will happen in approximately eight weeks is the tissue will mature and heal and be firmly adherent to the tooth surface. And the goal of which is not only to cover the root surface, but to restore a zone of thick keratinized tissue, which is very protective in nature.